was oblivious as Juliet packed and left and made her way across walking and talking bridge. Her goodbye note didn't say much, had to go, enough's enough, and P.S. There's pork chops in the fridge. She used to love his swordplay, love his poems and prose. Recently, all she sees is nose. Cyrano and Juliet were once as close as two can get. Long before the stars were all pulled down. Hey Jules, it's Cyrano. It's dinner time. Turn on your phone. I'm at the house. I've got the table set. Wherefore art thou, Juliet? Don Quixote called to say, just give her time, it'll be okay. There's hills and mills and valleys to fight and climb. But Cyrano, the old gambling man, said I got this far with a lousy hand and bluffing just got tougher over time. And seven years was itchy, 15 years was numb. I don't know where she found the strength to run. Hey, Jules, it's Cyrano. It's midnight, please turn on your phone. I can't sleep in this enormous bed. I know that I'm no Romeo as far as aging husbands go. But I swear to God, you ain't seen nothing yet. They swore for health and sickness. They swore for rich and poor. I guess it doesn't matter anymore. Cyrano de Bergerac puts on his sword and his white plumed hat and heads down to begin again saloon. Hey, Jules, it's Cyrano, it's 2 a.m., and I'm not home. I'm a little drunk, and I'm not finished yet. No monologue and no third act, no tragic twist, no poison ass. Just one more drink and another cigarette. Wherefore art thou, Jules?